I have a dream. Actually, it's less of a dream and more of a stupid misguided idea that probably isn't going to work. But bear with me and I'll tell you what I'm talking about here. So I've got this laptop motherboard that one of my friends um, was chucking out because they um, upgraded the one in their uh, laptop to one with um, or, um, NVIDIA graphics, like a separate NVIDIA video card just out of an old Dell laptop. And I thought, you know, this thing still works. It still gives you a video output. Everything works fine on it, except for the fact that there's no soft power switch anymore. But um, I was thinking, you know, I might be able to turn this into a little desktop PC. It takes uh, like laptop dims and stuff. So I, I could, uh, I could turn this into a fairly decent little uh, desktop because it's actually it's a little Core 2 Duo. Um, it's like a 1.7 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, and it'll take like four gigs of RAM. So this could be turned into a fairly decent little low power desktop. And I was, I was thinking, you know, maybe if I put a um, cooler with enough thermal mass on here, I might actually not even need a fan in this. If I just get good ventilation throughout the case, I might be able to run this thing entirely passively. And I actually uh, concluded that, that that's actually probably going to work if I use a stock uh, AMD cooler and sandwich it on top of the CPU and the Northbridge, have it contact both of them. This thing runs, at least it ran stable in the BIOS and was able to go through and do memory tests and full hardware tests on it. Failing most of the hardware tests because there's almost no uh, peripherals or any other components hooked to it that are supposed to be there, but um, I think I can actually get this to work. The only issue I'm having here is how do I actually mount the CPU cooler to this, and these the uh, CPU sits up higher than the North Bridge, so I'm gonna have to do some kind of spacer or something in between there. I mean, let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you have any ideas on how I could mount that on there. I mean, there's there's holes here, and there's mounting holes around the uh, CPU, but if I get the uh, cooler here, I was gonna use for it, which has got pennies stuck to it for I was using for spacers. Um, I'll show you what I mean. This here, when you go to try to overlap them, it doesn't actually overlap these bottom two uh, holes. But if I could, this will just kind of sit down on like that. I could orient this in such a way where air could flow from the bottom of the case through this and create a convection current almost and uh, actually move enough air just from the heat that this produces to keep the system wouldn't say cool but acceptably decently temperatured uh, well cool enough to operate um, still probably gonna be pushing like 60 degrees C all the time when it's running but uh, if it stays cool enough to not just fry itself um, then I consider this a win so let me know if you guys think this is a good idea or not. Um, I'm thinking I'm still going to do it anyway, and <laughs> if it fries it, it fries it. It's not the biggest deal, because this board is not really worth anything, and it was going to get thrown out anyway. So, I think it's worth a shot. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this kind of crazy idea of mine here. And um, yeah, if you have any suggestions on how I could possibly mount these things, Feel free to drop that down in the comments, and uh, yeah, hopefully there will be a video of this thing completed at some point running, and um, you can take a look at it then. Alright, you guys have a good one.